Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Dictionary Finally's album reviews. You can find our band interviews and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. I will be posting this one, Duelist's new record, as well as Grey Haven's new records. Both phenomenal records. Pick them up if you get the chance to. Uh, really worth your time for sure. Um, also, I'll be posting an interview of Awaken I Am tonight as well, so check that out if you get the chance to. And if you enjoyed any of that so far, please subscribe, please hit that thumbs up, and please hit that notification bell so you get notified of when anything audio addiction related comes out. So tonight, we're going to be talking about Duelist's new EP, Be Here Now. So, for those of you who don't know about this band, they are a new band, but they are a band of former members from Elitist, which is um, a progressive metalcore band that was popular uh, uh, not that long ago. So, I feel like it was a cool resurgence to bring these guys back. I've always loved Elitist. I think they were one of the best kind of progressive metalcore bands at the time, you know, up there with Structures um and like north lane things of that nature the more progressive sort of metalcore stuff i felt like they were definitely top tier and you know to see them go away was kind of upsetting but i'm glad that they are somewhat back you know maybe not original lineup but i appreciate it um and i appreciate this new record a lot i think it's really good i think you're if you're a fan of elitist you'll definitely enjoy this record so i'm gonna go through all the tracks give you my thoughts and opinions on all of them and then i'm gonna go through some pros and cons and then finish it out with an overall rating so the first track is called stillness this is just an intro track it kind of has this cool like atmosphericness to it um really doesn't add too much uh to the overall ep um it's really just kind of like a opener sort of track and um definitely kind of gives you a little bit of a vibe of what's going on and kind of how it sounds very nature oriented um, obviously with a track being called The Forest, I feel like that kind of has that sort of vibe to it. But other than that, it's kind of an intro track, not, not much to go off of from there. So we're going to move into track two, The Forest, the first actual track per se. Um, this just kind of feeds well into the intro. And I also think that the intro of this track in particular is really cool. I love the sort of panning between the two guitars and just how everything comes in and brings all that energy in after the first guitar part when it hits. Um, the, sc the screams are really awesome. They kind of hit this with this great force um, and they just cut and contract contrast through uh, with the rhythm guitar. I also really enjoyed the sort of layered screams as well. Um, you know, the contrast between the high screams, the more fry screams and the more like lower, I wouldn't even say guttural, but just definitely lower range of the screams. Um, it just adds this overall depth to the vocals and to the track as well. So I think it fits well in both aspects of that. Um, the cleans are really great as well. I think that this one in primary to most of the other tracks off the record, I think this one has the most cleans. Um, I'll have to go back and look or listen. Um, but I would definitely say that this one primarily is more cleans. There are a lot of screams in this track as well, but I think more of the focus was on cleans on this track. It's groovy, it's bouncy, and like I said, I've been really missing Elitist, so um, this kind of brings me back, and Julian, I think, is a really great guitar player, super underrated, um, and I, I'm glad that he's back to writing this stuff again. So we're moving into track number three, which is Chaotic Mind. Uh, the la Chaotic Mind, Dason, I think I'm pronunciating that right, and Inner Word are all singles that have been released already on their YouTube page, which I will link at the end. Um, but getting back to Chaotic Mind, this one has this really awesome, cool time signature. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not too big on the, you know, music sort of stuff, like in terms of like time signatures. I just know it's not in 4-4 of the standard. Um, and it has this definitely more of a dissonant feel to it, much like structures back in the day. Um, it kind of brought that sort of element into it as well. I love the cool sort of eerie dark tone that this um, track has. It almost has this sort of menacing great feel to it. And it's a nice contrast to the forest, which kind of has that more melodic sound to it. Um, there is this really awesome guitar solo at the minute and 27 mark to the minute and 50, 53 second mark. And then there's this great breakdown. It's 
absolutely beefy. It starts at a minute and 53 and goes to two minutes and 20 seconds. Beautiful track. If you haven't listened to this one, again, the bottom three, Chaotic Mind, Dason, and Inner Word are all on their page. So go check those out. So we're going to move into track number four, which is Dason, like I mentioned. Um, this one feels the most like Elitist. Um, I'm obviously not trying to compare them to past releases, but uh, definitely feels in that ballpark. And obviously, you know, them being Elitist, they're going to have that influence. Um, it also feels like a track that would have been on their most me recent release um, at the time. And this track is just, again, super groovy. Uh, I love Julian's guitar style, like I've been mentioning a lot. I feel like his his style has been kind of absent in the sort of progressive metal f uh, field. So I'm glad that he's back. Um, the, the cleans add this nice harmony uh, with the screams um, in certain parts of the track. I think it's really nice. Again, would have loved a little bit more cleans in this track. I think it would have been nice to have like two tracks that kind of have more, uh, I guess, cleans to it and then have two tracks that are kind of real just beefy and heavy. So um, the drums just have this awesome punch to it. They have some really great groovy guitar riffs and there's a nice balance of uh, the vocals uh, against a lot of the instrumentals. I think that they were all kind of thought out and very... Um, very methodical so we're going to move it into track number five which is inner word and this features michael barr of x volumes slash his solo project um i was really kind of in i was really kind of surprised at this track first of all i'll get into why i was surprised about it but also having michael barr on this track i think was really interesting um but i think in particular this song combines a lot of the great elements of this duelist record um it has just really son of great groovy guitar parts um the cleans and the screams are really nice and they balance out very well um and just the drumming the bass playing just all kind of fits well into their whole sonic sound and i feel like you know there's a lot of parts that you could pick from the forest chaotic mind and dason that you would find in inner words so i think overall this was the best track for them to uh, highlight and i think it was the first track that they actually released so um i like that it really counter plays with a lot of the songs off the record um, and just works well uh, in that regard. Um, there is Michael screaming at 2 minutes and 20 seconds to pretty much the end of the track, which is really interesting because I know that he kind of stepped away from it a bit. He did his solo work, which is pretty much all cleans. Uh, so I was really surprised that they did that. And I was also even more surprised that they didn't have him do maybe clean parts as well i would have maybe liked the first half to be clean and then the second half to just being kind of just raw and just you know great screams that i know he does um but paired with that last breakdown that they had i think that he was an excellent fit for this track and just what a way to end a really awesome record i feel like um some pros and cons about this record some pros i think that if you're a diehard Elitist fan, like I would say more so the newer stuff, I think you'll definitely enjoy this record a lot. Um, it does keep sort of elements of that. And I think even older Elitist fans, if you're pretty open minded, I feel like you'll enjoy this record too, just because like um, there are elements of old. Um, I'd like to see how far this band can kind of progress and and do stuff. It, I think it's a good start to, you know, bring them back to true form um i like the clean singing i think the only thing that i would have a issue with is that there wasn't enough i would have loved to again have one track that kind of two tracks that kind of have a little bit more of a screw a clean heavy vibe and then two tracks that kind of have more of a scream heavy vibe i think that would have played out a little bit better and i feel like the balance would have been better in terms of the ep i also feel like it's very short i know that that is almost a common gripe amongst a lot of people who review stuff but i feel like this one was in particular really short because stillness was like 40 seconds and it was just kind of like an intro so realistically it was four tracks and three of them you've already heard already so um i feel like for me it was just kind of I, I wouldn't even say it was a disappointment it was just kind of like okay i know it's great stuff i would love to just hear more material um, and hopefully they'll be writing a full length or something like that in the foreseeable future. But overall, my thoughts on it were really good. I think, again, if you're an old fan of Elitist, you'll love this. Uh, if you're a new fan and haven't heard of this band before, go check it out. 
um go check out elitist too really great stuff as well um but my overall rating for duelist be here now i'm going to be giving it a 9.7 out of 10 i think it's a highly 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 recommended ep that you should go check out especially in, if you're into that progressive metalcore if you're into metalcore i feel like this is kind of a true to form record bouncy um heavy um melodic and it just kind of combines a lot of great elements that i feel like a lot of bands are kind of missing out on um in terms of just music so go give this one a listen let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below i would love to hear what you think about it um if you agree with me if you disagree with me on it definitely let me know too i'd love to hear some feedback in terms of that um but overall i'm hoping that maybe they'll start touring with this or they'll start working on new work uh new you know new material hopefully is in the works at this point and um, i'm excited to see what duelist does in the foreseeable future so like i said if you enjoy this interview or uh, review i don't even know why i said interview if you enjoy this review please subscribe please hit that thumbs up it really goes a long way and thank you guys immensely for your support i can't thank you guys enough for checking out this review um hopefully you'll be checking out some of our other stuff as well and um I hope you enjoyed it a lot. So my name is Brandon. We hope you got your fix and we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Of course, uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.